Welcome back everybody. This episode starts out exactly where the last one has, uh, left up blah, 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 where the last one stopped. And as you can tell I still still cannot talk whatsoever. I don't know what it is. It's not even that I'm that tired. I'm kind of like in a good mood just playing the game. And look at this side of the zoo, it's it's dead. Bongo 4 died of old age. Uh, we are also going to send back... Did the other bongos also die? I mean, it's sad, but, you know, they died of old age, so what can you do? Nothing. Yeah, I think the other, uh, the mom and dad bongo has already passed away, unfortunately. There we go, let's send this to. Releasing through wild is uh, showing it's training quite up I think we are near four stars actually even though we just literally reached uh, three and a half stars not long ago chimpanzee is an entertaining animal so that's fine again we don't actually have that much money um, it was a good call not to spend too much even though we had like 70k because at, at this point animals are going like way overpriced 15k not that much but you know you buy a couple anymore you buy a couple and then it's 30k so and still I want to buy I really want to buy Spanish lynxes wait did so I send back the children peacocks I think the adults are either in the trees or they died of old age as well which would make sense actually uh, yeah it's pretty funny I mean the fact that they died is not funny it's horrible but it's pretty funny that this exhibit is like uh, empty it reminds me of the times when I actually like I, I real life went into a zoo you know you go to a zoo in real life and then you just can't see the animals and you are wondering whether there are actually any animals in there or you know are they are they hiding or did they move them and it never gets answered it's almost like zookeepers and uh, the zoo management don't want to tell you if if an animal died or they moved it because then you just keep like wondering if it's there or not spend more time in the zoo etc kind of like replacing where an item was in a supermarket so customers go around the shop you know trying to find it. in the meantime they just buy extra stuff You shouldn't poo where you sleep. Sea otter is pregnant. Cool. It's sad that it. What happened to the last sea otter? It seems like yeah, the game just didn't wanna pause for some reason. This kid is angry because he wants to go. She wants to go to the toilet, but there's like two large toilets next to her, and you don't even have to wait in line. Just don't get guests. This is why you lose rating on your zoo. Because of stupid things. Uh, stupid things reminds me why. So it's three stars. It went up. This store would be better if it featured some nice biomes. Again, what the fuck does that mean? In my opinion, this store should feature tempered biome. We can actually do that with the Spanish links. That would be cool. Let's um, close it, even though that means we're going to lose money and then we can edit it. I spent so much time editing this part and now I'm not even going to use it, it's pretty funny. It's pretty ironic I guess. That's why the last episode was a bit iffy in the very beginning. Uh, we got the Spanish links. Problem is if we buy two we're going to get... Uh, basically we're basically left with no money I don't know what I'm trying to say I'm trying to look for impressions in my head English expressions and I just can't seem to find them um, but, 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 but endangered species fence is super expensive but I think they kind of deserve it to be honest oh no chain link fence is perfectly fine wow an animal like this it's not technically a big cat and I mean in real life chain link fence would be fine but generally speaking higher quality animals require higher quality fence right 
we're gonna buy a mail we are going to give it meat or a fish oh cool why not haven't bought a fish recently and uh, a tire cool stuff cool stuff I don't think we need to give it um, a shelter because it can sleep under a tree and then we're gonna finish this very easily because it's easier fuck the flowers in the way it's so annoying and it's like random spots too it's, it's the, now it's the middle one It's just too high. Uh, it's too far away. It's okay. Put it there. I'm surprised that was fine because of the uh, the cart. Let's rotate the camera. I almost I almost just had a heart attack because I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, should we go into the ah oh, fuck? Oh, we might actually yeah might I might actually go into the uh, jungle biome here, guys. But the prob um, the problem is if I do, why does the rhino need more space? Oh, it's a bug. Fucking like terrain bug again. Yeah, it's fine. I thought it gave birth or something. That's why. The problem I was gonna say the problem is if we go into here we have to kind of go around because we can't put it oh you can put it in the water Sh that's so fucking cool oh you couldn't put it in the water if the whole um, water tank was an actual water tank you know without if it wasn't just like deep water it was just the whole tank water but this way yeah sure Again, I don't know if you have to put it in the exhibit for it to count, you know, as like a temperate biome. I uh, don't think you actually do have to do that. Um, yeah, and then jungle, right? If we do this... What? Yeah, if we do this... I think that's fine for the jungle. I'll even go that far and because of the cap forest oh we can move it let's move it to the side a bit it's done right fuck it's the fucking glitch again oh my god you piece of poo why I'm so mad you have to sell that shit again I think um, is it because of the fucking flowers just tell me oh yeah because we kind of cheesed it yeah it's because we cheesed it Can't even put it there anymore. Wow. It's okay. Oh, it's so weird. I just look stupid. Can we can we put these back? We can put those back, but we're gonna put the other ones back. How nice. Okay. We have to buy new ones, but why do we have to buy new ones? Or did the old ones get sold when I edited it? Oh god.
sensing spec 2 again not really back but to the wild that uh, that reminds me of the movie back to the wild is it called back to the wild you know the movie with the kid who is like angry at his parents so he goes to like Alaska to live in the wilds uh, let's not forget to clean the water let's clean so the zookeeper can clean the water what happened is it didn't clean the water that's why the otter died and we have four stars holy shit quick 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 we have to buy the elephant and according to the spreadsheet it's funny because you guys can't see this but because I'm playing Zuta I can on like uh, windowed mode I can see the spreadsheet on the left we got the job on Rhino as well uh, actually we're gonna buy that first but we're only going to buy one I'm gonna buy a male because I like their horns I think they can eat banana yeah and grass and branches I don't know how they eat branches though because they're rhinos they, they aren't that high and we ran out of money for the elephant pretty sure it's like 20k and since we send back all the um, other non-endangered animals we're gonna send back the camel the camel pair I actually like this part too a lot of people came around here to witness the Afri uh, sorry, Asian elephant yeah by the way this is Asian elephant cool huh they added the Asian elephant black rhino is pregnant nice they added the Asian elephant unfortunately has a social need and uh, we can't uh, fix that we can't fix that social need until we buy another elephant but it's fine they added the Asian elephants in a DLC for the game yeah back in the, back in those days guys like 2005 ish uh, guess what games had do uh, DLC content downloadable content that you didn't have to pay for mind blown right oh we have snow leopard we don't have enough money so it doesn't matter probably not gonna buy wild oaks because money probably not gonna buy antelope actually we are buying antelope so we can make babies make them bobbies let's save it just in case L look and it's going to mate instantly because the social is high we also need salt oh no I don't know why uh, their um, I don't know why their stimulation need is high I think it's because maybe because sometimes they fight even the females fight with the males like playing you know f play fighting maybe that's a uh, stimulation but I'm, I'm thinking that's more of an exercise than stimulation well done rhino nice cock block <laughs> also it's funny how black rhinos can get even blacker because you know they need a wash uh, not pregnant unfortunately and let's check if they are fighting a oh, fighting is social apparently but it still has she still has a s cr critical social need even though they made it what the fuck oh it started running rhino rhinos are assholes it seems like in the meantime let's try to get uh, gorillas holy shit I forgot we could buy them we're gonna buy them too we can buy gorillas so at this point the game is easy uh, when it comes to trying to find endangered species it's just about making money uh, for now we're not gonna buy another Spanish lynx yeah no not chimpanzee even though it would be really cool 
looking for African elephants. Unless African elephant is four and a half. No, it's four. Uh, African elephant. It's four stars. Red panda four. Oh, we can buy gibbons too. I forgot. So we can we can choose. Yeah, that's. I, I remember that actually. Like I was a bit perplexed by um, them adding gibbons as four stars because you, they're both monkeys. Uh, you know them and gorillas. They're kind of similar animals. It's not much of a point. We can also buy pygmy hippos, and they live in tropical rainforest too, so that's a good one. These are all of them we can buy. And an elephant. So this is why I made huge exhibits for savanna and tropical, because you can save money that way. And at four and a half stars, which we are going to achieve quite soon. Orangutan. Again, like orangutan, really similar to gib gibbon gorilla and uh, chimpanzee, so I don't know why. It's kind of stupid. After that, five stars. Challenge done. Guess we'd like a place to sit and eat. Let's rectify that. Let's check that. A lot of people have a sitting need. There's a bench right there. Sitting need. S sitting need. Again, a lot of benches around, but we're gonna put a couple there too, I guess. We're gonna clean this exhibit first. Uh, I'm not still not gonna buy an extra zookeeper. Another food dish. Put it there. <clears throat> what else? What else? Let's uh, try to keep refreshing until we get the monkeys. I guess we shouldn't have bought an extra rhino at the end of the day. So we got the gorilla. Let's check the rating on this sky machine. Reminds me of the um, of, of that game, uh, Bioshock Infinite, where you like uh, go on the uh, jump around on these cables. Four stars, perfect. Uh, themed objects uh, these guests want. What we are going to do for that is we are actually placing another jungle one here, another jungle arch. Uh, it would look better here. Also some safari arches. Maybe kind of sort of here. Somewhere. Move this for a sec. Put it here. should be fine for safari another safari thing we can do is um, place a statue here they could s I think they can sense that they have spidey sense for that another safari arch here for good measure we can extend it bench some people are here are coming back probably because of the um, chimpanzee and their the job and rhino keep refreshing animals
Oh, is it was sick or something? Seem to be having a lot of fun. Some themed object still it says. Oh, we can pirate cannon. It is just a decoration, it's not a tour object or anything, but I'm not sure if it helps. Fuck. That's fine. Let's check on the list of animals. Interesting how they they didn't do much with this health uh, thing, uh, this concept in the game. Oh shit, the camel. Oh fuck. I didn't realize that the, there was a baby camel. I wouldn't have sent them back to the wild then. Anyways, we're just, we're just gonna put it up for adoption. There is one oryx left. The other, did we send back the other ones? I think going to give birth soon. And then everything else is fine. Anything else you want to add? Nice. <laughs> Here's your balloon, sir. Thanks. Delete. <laughs> uh, you know, we can um, put this like cool bat cave here. And then place uh, temperate forest trees around it that would be cool uh, or so I think look at that Nice little park. I I recommend creating some tempered biome on this. Fuck you. <laughs> That's stupid. It does actually need a sh uh, privacy. Let's put that thing there. Let's unlock binoculars because people love that. Let's put some lamps. Nice. Very nice. Same thing here. Some lamps. We have so many themes too. Yeah, so it's symmetrical.
Yeah, you can place this koi in the f fucking water, but I don't know what purpose they serve, to be honest. Uh, binocular, sick. We're gonna add a couple of these, actually. Maybe here. Putting a binocular here would work, but it's so stupid. <laughs> Why would you put that? Yeah, let's put a binocular in water. Let's put another one here. I'm not even sure if you're supposed to put binoculars next to the animal cages. Maybe just put them around and it doesn't matter. What does it say? Even closer view of the animals. So yeah, it's next to the next to an exhibit. I don't know what that means, I don't know if they can see farther or not, but there you go. Adepts died of old age, that's pretty bad, that they are dying, but uh, we can... Fuck. Three. We can buy just a single one to keep breeding them, I guess. You can find it because it took ages to find it the first time around. Find the animal here. It's a massive line here. Problem is, you buy a few fucking seats and then nobody wants to go. Oh, it's okay. The ones coming soon. Again, it doesn't really matter for us right now to find the animals, uh, the elephant, the gibbon, because we we cannot afford them anyways. Yeah. I always forget to do the shit, okay. Oh we got the uh, red panda, but it doesn't matter. I, I think I think the lynx would kill it. Kill the red panda, so. Uh, we got the pygmy hippo. For in interestingly enough it's four stars. I mean it's interesting that it's like a small hippo. Sure, but Not that interesting. That's alright, whilst we wait for money we can learn about pygmy hippos. Oh, there's the big one. It's too bad you can't put the pygmy hippo in the same cage as a normal hippo. Because they live in the jungle and the normal hippo lives in the wetlands in this game. Because that would be quite funny I think that would be really funny that's actually a fun like idea for a zoo <laughs> pygmy, pygmy animals and actual animals because you can have a uh, giant camel you can put it next to a dromedary camel uh, you, you, you can't actually do that because a uh, giant camel lives in the grasslands and actual dromedary camel lives in the desert uh, also let's buy some benches in the meantime Why can't you put it? Oh, it's there. Uh, yeah, and you could also put a dwarf, dwarf uh, elephants, uh, but they live in the grasslands. Actual, actual elephants live in savanna, or you know, this one lives in the scrub. As well. 
uh, dwarf elephants are extinct. They are extinct animal species. Well, we're just looking for elephant, I guess, and then we can pick which one we want to buy. Pygmy hippo. Pygmy hippo size. Oh, it's so fucking cool. So this is how they look like. The baby is tiny, the size of a cat, and the adult is the size of uh, ooh, like a pig, I guess. So there it is. And let's close that. <clears throat> so, pygmy hippos, they are native to the swamp, swamp, swamps of West Africa, uh, mostly in Liberia. It's actually, uh, so it says it's rec they are reclusive and nocturnal, so they, they are mostly active in the night, night time for some reason. We can find some edexes in the meantime. It's difficult. To, they are difficult to study. Outside West Africa, they were unknown before the nineteenth century. They actually breed well in captivity. And the World uh, Conservation Union estimates that fewer than 3,000 pygmy hippos remain in the wild. It's not much, but it's more than I thought, actually. It's like, it says Java and rhinos, there's 60 of them in the wild. Uh, which is probably more nowadays, but who knows. A striped hyena is also super low risk I thought they were rare and then and the African wild dog hyenas are just like endangered like what the fuck some of these seem a bit iffy but there you go and then carrying on they're primarily uh, pygmy hippos are primarily threatened by loss of habitat forests are logged they're vulnerable to poaching because they hunt them for their meat, their natural predators in war. Yeah, and it's illegal to hunt them. One second. There we go. We got the we got an edX. We're gonna buy a male edX. Fuck, but we could buy a gorilla. <sighs> or a pygmy hippo. We have to buy a pygmy hippo now. We need entertaining animals. Shit. Gorillas are the most entertaining animal I fucking know. Dicks out and everything, but like, we really need gorilla over pygmy hippos. We can read about the pygmy hippos and then buy gorillas. How about that? Not not the band. Because I'm pretty sure if I bought the band gorillas uh, with my leadership they would just start making bad music even though that's not really possible. Because they are awesome but still. Uh, there's a so apparently there's a Nigerian subspecies of pygmy hippos. And then it writes about the evolution. And it says that 
Uh, four. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That wait, what? There are how many edexes are there? It's a bit laggy. There's only two, right? The mom and the daughter. No, there's three. There are three females. Oh wow! Holy shit! Oh no, there's a male, but it's a boy. There's a female mother. Uh, the father died of old age, I think. I'm pretty sure. And all of them need a mate, like even the mom, at this point. So yeah, we're gonna buy gorilla, and then from the donations from the gorilla, we're gonna buy. I'm gonna buy a female gorilla because I don't want any trouble with uh, kids falling in and shit. Do we have a ball here? Can you guys see a playing ball? There, there it is. Because I, I'm, I was afraid that you guys would understand ball as in like water ball, but I meant like a round ball. I guess it's a ball, not a ball. <laughs> why do, why do a pile of leaves cost two hundred dollars? Wanna groom this boy? Unfortunately, after they introduce like playing with the ball, like shit like this, it's a bit annoying to do stuff around in the game. Anyways, back to the hippo. Let's take a wild ride in the meantime. Oh, dude, this sucks. I'm not even mad anymore that they give us bad ratings. Like this, this is bad. Why is that person mad? Oh no, the third, but there's one right next to you. I'm actually gonna buy a dessert cart uh, for adult females. Again, for the game is throwing shit. It's, it's not me. I'm not saying only women uh, like fruits and men don't and shit like that. It's the game saying it. That adult females like this. And I'm not gonna put it there. I'm actually gonna put it here. Can buy it sit down and then let's buy bins here too here we go giant stable antelope gave birth perfect so remember when we first bought the antelope we not bought it we got it from a challenge and then for a long time we didn't buy a mate for her oh sh this is really bad like literally oh shit because it's poo everywhere yeah um, we didn't buy a mate for her um, we bought one when her social need was high and then instantly was pregnant. Good stuff. And we can soon buy an edX. Also we should buy a zookeeper. Another one. Let's pause the game for a second and do that. Let's do that. It's, I think it's worth it. So. Actually, gonna delete all of her assignments. You can look after this, 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 and then the new zookeeper. You can look after this side of the uh, the globe, and that means that everything's gonna be more efficient, and we're probably not gonna have any unclean tanks or anything like that. Let's uh, replenish this. Okay, finally, pygmy hippo evolution. So both the pygmy hippos and the actual big hippos are believed to be most closely related to pigs and hogs. Pigs. Oh, fuck. Yeah, th that makes sense. That's why they have the giant uh, under teeth. But research within the last 10 years has determined that pygmy hippos and hippos are most closely related to whales and dolphins and not pigs wow wait i thought that um whales and dolphins 
used to be horses. Like they are the, not horses. <laughs> not that they used to be horses, but they evolved from the same animal, uh, which also evolved into horses. Maybe not. That's interesting. Hippos and whales share the common semi-aquatic ancestor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Around 60 million years ago. 60 million years ago. Fuck. That's not long. That's not long after the dinosaurs went extinct. Actually. Let's just check some needs. Look, we have no guests that are extremely unhappy. She literally has like no pay like little like something happens to her. Like she she steps on a twig or someone like speaks a little bit too like two decibels too loud and then she's gonna be angry. But at this point nothing. It's good. Um So there is also a very retarded looking animal. Uh, called the dwarf hippo <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> That's scary This looks like um, an enemy from like the game amnesia Something Before I fucking forget uh, Let's go back Yeah So that's similar to pygmy hippos So what are dwarf hippos? Oh fuck! So you know um, what I told you about the dwarf elephant that went extinct in Sicily. There is also a dwarf hippo that lived in Sicily, the little island. Interesting. So they both they were both from there, and then over time, because of I guess uh, not enough food, they and no. Uh, natural predators in Sicily these animals uh, shrunk in size holy fuck that's weird so we are going to buy a male edX we can't buy an, ex an extra one unfortunately scimitar and horn oryx unfortunately I don't I cannot afford another one I really should buy though another one because eh, why not why not keep up the species they breed but uh, I wouldn't go as far as to say that you know these animals pay for themselves because of the balloons they might pay for themselves in like 10 years but they don't live that long oh uh, yeah everything else it talks about description pygmy hippos so they live from 30 to 55 years though it's unlikely that they live this long in the wild and they weigh uh, around 200 250 kilos which is around 400 to 600 pounds look edx2 is now pregnant that was quick the mom lol the mom took the young stud because the daughter also wanted to mate but <laughs> lol the mom seduced the new boy I'm trying to think what we are going to buy next, but probably elephants. Uh, well, probably elephants. Yeah, elephants. No, just one elephant, maybe. S let's get rid of this gorilla. Yeah, unfortunately, we reached a point in time where we are only buying one of every animal. Oh, Stegosaur. It's so annoying having having to click one by one because you want to save one uh, animal slot. Black rhino is giving birth. I think this is the point where we reach four and a half stars. I don't know. I, I don't know why. I just entertaining. Guess like having a good view of healthy, happy, active animals. See rare, exotic animals. Well, these animals are super exotic, right? 
to ensure the guests enjoy themselves, make sure that the animals are happy. That's what I mean, like, you have to, like, fucking put on a show by giving these animals stuff to do. It's, we probably don't have a really good rating on this because of the, like, these turtles is, like, you know, complain. What's the problem here? Food. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna put another food. Let's put, let you know what? Let's put a uh, best of both worlds. Let's let's put a pretzel here, but then you kind of have to put a, a drink vendor too. Fuck it. Let's put let's put safari pretzels. Yeah, pretzels are again uh, more popular with adult females. I don't know why adult females. Honestly, I I think. If they did a study, if they did their research, uh, they would find that male, like guys like pretzels more, but maybe I'm wrong. And that's popcorn. And then popcorn is for the adult males mostly. Again, I don't know what the percentage is, like... How many, like, what does it mean that adult males like this more? Is it an actual thing or are they just saying it? Maybe they're just saying it to make, it in, to make the description interesting. Let's control her. <laughs> Put her here. Cause like honestly, like one person being super angry can ruin your. She's the only angry person in the zoo. Fuck sake. And it's only because she's stupid as fuck. Oh yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go view animals. No, just buy your food. You can stay here forever. I mean, people stay here at fucking night time, as you can see. You have infinite amount of time to do anything you want and you choose to uh, not eat and then complain that the zoo is shit <laughs> how funny is that like in real life when people get hungry they don't automatically blame the fucking zoo right <laughs> in real life if you go to a zoo and you're hungry you don't blame the zoo you blame your mom and that's where this conversation ends. This is what it look. This is what Wikipedia says. Like the common hippopotamus, the pygmy hippo emerges from the water at dusk to feed. Like this sentence reads like pygmy hippos are like the fucking magical creature Kelpie that lures the uh, men to their deaths. <laughs> it emerges from the water at dusk to feed. It relies on game trails to travel through dense forest vegetation. It marks trails by vigorously waving its tail while defecating to further spread its feces. Okay, so it, it uses the... Uh, what is that like old tale where... Oh, little boy and the girl... Uh, they mark their trail by using breadcrumbs and the birds eat it. I, I can't remember what it is in... H Hansel and Greta. So Pygmy Hippo uses the reverse Hansel and Greta technique. Instead of uh, spreading around uh, food like bread, it spreads around, uh, it eats the bread and then it spreads around poo to mark the trail. It says that they are herbivores, obviously. They do not eat aquatic vegetation rarely eat grass they mainly eat ferns broadleaf plants and fruits and their diet is generally speaking higher quality than normal hippos and it's hard to uh, study them in the wild because they are critically endangered they mostly been studied in um, in zoos, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
let's see the ride. Tour objects would improve the tour. Fucking kidding me. What more do you want? I don't want to put a fucking fog machine in Africa. Oh, uh, we can put a fog machine here. That would be cool. Right? Let's put two of them. No, just one. We have to save money. And then we can put a rock pool in here. But it's so expensive too. I thought this tapir was a pygmy hippo for a second. And like, what? I don't remember buying one. Little poo boy. A lot of people are here because of the gorilla. That one tapir has paid for itself. They donated so much. Holy fucking shit. People on the forums weren't, not forums, but like, you know, I googled it. People weren't lying that uh, PFAUs get so much donations. But you know, like in, in the general sense, like 4K is not much. If you buy uh, f like free PFAUs, that's like 4K anyways. So, but maybe they donated more. No. Here, fifty-one dollars. Okay, yeah. Again, Adex, Adexes are pulling mad weight, just like in the other zoo we had. But also the Oryx. I don't know, so I, we can't really say for sure if they are different. Also, Adexes get more donate, got more donations because they are higher uh, star-rated animals than Oryxes. Chimpanzee didn't get much, but it's more recent. And then Gorilla is getting some now. Oh, it needs a wash. Sea otter one is very old and it will not leave. I've never seen this message before. It's fucking bad because it's expensive. Adex 2 died of old age. That's not super bad because uh, now the other, the new Adex can mate with the daughter. Uh, this guy's sibling. Yeah. What guest would like a place to sit and eat? Guests that are already leaving. Yeah, nice. Oh shit, I forgot to put a trash can here, that could have been bad. Send you back. Not back, but to the wild. And look, edX4 is now pregnant, what did I say? What is the sound? I don't wanna build any more exhibits honestly. Because we have enough. For for a five star, I think. We just need more species. And this is why I'm not gonna buy two of every animal. What am I fucking Noah? Does this look like fucking Noah's barge to you? Exactly. Oh, we um, found the gibbon. We're gonna keep this around. Yeah, we're gonna keep keep this around because we we might. There's a slight chance that we're gonna buy a female edX for the male. Red panda, mm, probably not. No. 
or hippo tortoise 8 has grown up so we're gonna send him we don't need to release to the wild anymore so I'll just leave it so it can get a little bit more donations more animals means um, more chance that the guests see them and then more donations right in the long run I think cheetahs are actually vulnerable interesting enough Oh, cracking my neck. So nice. Oh, elephant. Sick. So you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna be scummy. Oh yeah, and we should end the episode as well because it's been like an hour. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, please press the like button. Uh, subscribe for more we are trying to we, next episode we're gonna buy some new animals as well polar bears are not low risk dude <laughs> they are not low risk but yeah thank you for watching bye bye